first, and then he would switch to the other one uh, later on in bracket. I guess yeah, it's I to uh, help with consistency. Yeah, I could definitely see that making sense. I mean, right now, as you can see, about lapped in percentage, Joe Shady is currently struggling to narrow down ZD's Fox, and yeah, that is a uh, aerial to up smash, as ZD is wont to do. You know, you know the combo, the Fox special. Yeah, I mean, hey man, if it works, ain't no problem with it. Actually, Reflex gets that, <laughs> gets yeah, the Hydrant as well. I mean, he's just racking up crazy amounts of damage right now. And Joe Shady is struggling to take off even a single stock in this game one. Yeah, that was so much damage. Already at 93% on Joe Shady's last stock, and ZD's still sitting comfortably on his third stock. <laughs> just the raise the roll. Yeah, that is just, I, there is not much Joe Shady can really do at this point. Nair up smash, that's all she wrote. That's game one. I love the freeze frame on Fox's up smash because he's just frozen upside down. The kick yeah. has already happened and it, <laughs> it freeze frames. It's the gymnast trick, you know, he's really highlighting it for the people at home. Trying to get perfect mm. tens across the board. And that's so game like, one. I mean, that was a yeah, blink and it you doesn't, missed. Or I was going to say, it doesn't uh, freeze frame when the kick lands. It, the, it freeze frames when Fox is already like halfway through the move. He's just showing off for the people and I respect <laughs> that. Yeah, that was a quick game one. ZD taking the first <laughs> so one. quick, it's like the first 30 seconds just couldn't even be seen. Just just blink and you miss it. Yeah, just blink and you're already done with your break, right? And we're already on game two. Yeah, so uh, hopefully we're going to see some picks and bans here going on in just a second. Interesting, it's that we started off on Town and City, when Pac-Man is a character that likes to set up in camp. But at the same time, ZD is just proficient with tearing down defenses and just breaking through barriers so he can just take stocks. And I had no problem doing that game one. The thing with Fox is he's so fast and he's so explosive that everything he does whenever he goes aggressive is pretty much a 50-50 and the, the person that's defending has to guess. And if they guess wrong, they just get opened up and take so much damage or maybe even lose their stock. Yeah, so as these guys kind of alter, I, I don't really expect ZD to really switch to Wolf. I mean, if he does, it's more of just a comfort pick because I think either one will get the job done. I mean, they both... Well, they both have strong backers. Uh, they both don't struggle with killing, and they both have reflectors. Yeah, which... it's all you really need to get it done. And at the same time, Joe Shady mm. also has a hero in the works. If he wants to bring out the hero, maybe get some RNG on his side to take down ZD. Oh, yeah. The hero is one of those characters that definitely gets a level up online. Yeah, I mean, when you look at his aerials and stuff, you can see that the there's kind of more lackluster frame data, but at the same time, if you can just top deck, you can go wild. And... Uh, it definitely has the potential to cause some mayhem if he decides to pull it out. Of course, <laughs> he might. Yeah, if you, especially if you top deck with hero, it's impossible to react to what he's doing. <laughs> they can't know what I'm choosing if I don't know what I'm choosing. You know. Mm -hmm. So they have to react to that on top of the lag. It's it just it's just so hard to do. Yeah, so both of them go into the, the select screen. So I assume there's going to be a stage change at the moment. Maybe something else? We'll, we'll see in just a second, of course. That's, that's actually, I really like that. That's one of the benefits of online, is that you can see the characters as we pop up. We can't see the stage pick, but we get to see the character picks right out the gate. Right, Which, right. I mean, I guess is kind of the same offline, but... Well, you know, we get, get. A, we get a little bit more. Yeah, let's let's see. These guys hop into the ring. No, no taunts, no messages in the chat for either of them. They're stone-faced killers. Fox v. Pac-Man, as we said, but it's going to be a game of, you know, where do I want to take this fox so he doesn't run me down? Yeah, Pac-Man, one of those characters that really wants to zone you out. He has boxing moves, but I I think Fox has the better boxing options. Yeah, and actually FD is the stage choice for Joe Shady. It's interesting to see because, you know, there's no platforms. He doesn't really have anywhere to dance around, but at the same time, Fox can only really go forward and above him. He doesn't have the maneuverability like Town and City, bobbing and weaving through platforms having those ledges, and, and of course you have to take consider, you know, blast zones and everything as well. Right. Can we talk about that reflector you... point blank? <laughs> right. Oh my, can we talk about that dude. forward smash? Oh wow. my goodness. Yeah, Joe Shade's coming out strong this game. I doubted his pick, but I'm eating my words right now. Yeah, Pac-Man's not one of those characters that has a lot of kill moves, but it's all concentrated into a few of his moves, and forward smash is definitely one of them. Yeah, excellent conversion as well, using the Galaga shift to rack up 43% already. Grabbing the apple, but getting, taking some damage from the Hydrant in the process, but still, Joe Shady doing pretty solid for himself right out the gate. ZD just really already has to kind of make a huge comeback. 
right. We, we both were questioning this choice on FD. Uh, not really sure the lack of platforms would really help Joe Shady, but obviously it's working out very well for him. Yeah, doing it for himself. ZD just trying to mow him down, trying to find the up smash. Hits the hydrant instead, and now he's off stage. As Joshady just instead of opting for stage pressure, just decides to get those fruit charged up. Try to make, find a good kill condition. But hey, the kill condition is maybe I'll try again next stock. Because he just catches. The kill condition level. is using the hydrant to take out Pac-Man. Yeah, just reset on the angel platform is step one. We'll see where we go from here. Mm hmm. But already 47% on Joshady. Fox, one of those characters that just racked up so much damage so quickly, especially at low percent. Yeah. Whoa! Hey, where are you going, ZD? Gets Ooh. caught by the bell and does it tech. The back air afterwards getting stage spike and sent all the way down, and he has a decent way to come back now. Yeah, no tech zone. I think he was thinking that Joe Shady was going to do a down air instead of back air, because that'd be guaranteed. But, you know, you gotta all be ready for those techs. Yeah, that, I mean, that was a great mix up by Joe, Joe Shady, and it definitely worked, so more power to him. 117% right now, just trying not to get sniped out in the air. Interesting use of Hydra to kind of cover the lower stage, forcing Joshay to go high and just catching with up air. That was immaculate. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good setup by ZD using um, Joshay's own Hydra against him again. Yeah, it, I mean, this, that's kind of one of the main tools that Pac-Man brings to the table is that Hydra. But ZD's just showing like, yeah, this is a tool I can use too if you really want to play that game. And also, Joe Shady's actually being pretty aggressive. He's running in with aerials and just jumping in onto ZD. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely a good way to play, you know, catching him off guard. I mean, he's gotten good percentages so far just by catching him slipping. This is still pretty close. You know, after Joe Shady got an amazing game one, he now is almost neck and neck in percentage, actually now losing the lead three minutes into this game. And yeah, if ZD just tries to get, if he gets one, if he gets Nair to up smash, he wins. He's looking for it, you can tell. Yeah, he's Throwing out the, looking a, for a few nares. He just wants to end this. He doesn't want to fight back in anymore. I mean, I can't really blame him. You know? Zoners on Wi Fi, it's not everyone's <laughs> favorite treat. Good shield by ZD. Yeah, just and kind of keeping it the pressure, kind of dancing around this hydrant, unfortunately. 120% off stage as well. This is kind of where things get dangerous. Does it get the nair? Barely dis does not connect. Yeah, this is really close right now. Both both players can lose their stock really easily. Yeah, you can see ZD is playing very careful with how he approaches now. He realizes that any false hit can be death, but he's not careful, so it's just all about getting it. And gets the reverse hit of Nair, chases him, no tech to up smash. And that's how ZD finds himself in winner's finals. ZD special. But, yeah. Um, like I was saying earlier, Fox is really good at forcing 50-50s and making the opponent guess. But the problem is when it's a last stock, last hit situation like it just was, you saw ZD playing a lot farther back because um, even though it's a 50-50, if Joe Shady guesses right, ZD can lose his stock instantly. So you saw him playing a lot more defensive and then found his opening and took the stock from that. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy to see how ZD is normally one who is just this big ball of fire and it's very hard to tame him. But when he realizes that when things are dangerous and one mistake can mean death and he doesn't want to go to a game three, his playstyle instantly changes. Much more careful, much more calculating, and much more, uh, you know, not, he's playing not to lose instead of to win. Right. Um, Fox is one of those characters can't, that can do that because he's so nimble. He can force uh, a bait and punish type yeah. of game instead of just straight up rush down. He's quick. He's a fast faller. He's very light. A lot of stuff to keep in mind if you're playing that very uh, button-intensive character, to say the least.